I'm playing Sydney in Absurd Person Singular. Singular. And Sydney's a very, very nice, small little man. Uh, very punctilious. A uh, little bit OCD. And uh, he's desperate to impress uh, the bank manager who's a guest at his party, uh, plus this other young architect, that's Jeffrey, the bank manager being Ronald, and their respective wives. And uh, the first act starts in my kitchen uh, with my wife, Jane, who's terribly nervous. Starts off, I mean, there's a very, very definite class divide between Sydney, uh, Jeffrey, and Ronald. Um, they're doing quite well when the play starts, and Sydney's and Jane's house, it's actually quite dowdy, and even though it's very neat, it's, um, they're very much working class. And, uh, and so as the play continues, their fortunes are, uh, are on the up, whereas the others are on the way down. And I think uh, Sydney is a very uh, a fantastic example, a great prototype of one of Thatcher's kind of soldiers who uh, he really grasps that kind of like, um, you know, capitalist, let's make money. Yes, the curve itself is an incredible building, absolutely fascinating and fantastically inclusive. I love the fact that uh, members of the public in the foyer and the bars and the areas can actually see what's through the glass, can actually see what's going on. Backstage, great, great device into getting people to uh, to see how the theatre works. So, person singular. Um, I'm playing a, a, a character called Jeffrey, who um, ha is a little bit of a, a rogue. He's got a bit of a roving eye, and he's clearly in a, a marriage that's not working, as you'll discover. Most of the people in the play are in marriages that don't work, um, and it's uh, set over three Christmases uh, in. Uh, people's kitchens and uh, yes it's the the rise and fall of various people's hopes and dreams. Hello I'm Tracy Ann Oberman and I'm in Alan Aitbourne's Absurd Person Singular and I play the character of Eva. I think that Alan Aitbourne is like a modern day Chekhov which he is because he understands all the frailties of human nature which are both ludicrous, hysterical but also deeply sad. A character that has the biggest journey through the play um, it's very, very funny, and also she's very, very suicidal. And uh, suicide, Christmas, marriage breaking up, it sounds hilarious, doesn't it? But it is. Uh, Paul Kerrison's directing, a fantastic director, really good, um, has a fantastic track record at Curve, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see this play, which is quite an intimate, small piece, put on in the main house, and if anyone can do it justice, he will. He's... Um somewhat challenged in pretty much everything he does. He postures a great deal um, and initially I would have thought it's very hard to establish whether he's for real but he is and he's actually rather a sad man. I love the <laughs> curve. I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah. We want to reveal some things to you and show you how the magic happens but then there's another layer of magic when we produce it. Marion is uh, basically uh, an alcoholic uh, very well to do, married to a banker, um, but she's also quite funny <laughs> without realising it. I know that most people, really, um, very snobby, but um, at the end I think she realises that that's no way to live a life. Uh, I love being at the Curve Theatre, I think it's absolutely fantastic. As far as the modern theatres go, I think it's absolutely astonishing. I love it. We open on May the 6th. It's fantastic. It's the most amazing script I think I've ever been part of. It's phenomenal script, but it's so tight. And we're very, very reliant on each other. Very 70s, which is wonderful. We've got these amazing costumes, these fabulously huge sweeping sleeves and collars for days and great big flicks of hair. Um, the Curve Theatre in, in Leicester is extraordinary. I was born in Ashby de la Zouche, as you do, and I left when I was six years old, you see. Um, and I haven't been back since then, and it's a joy to come back, because I was brought up in Derbyshire, actually, so I'm going to pop across there and see some mates while I'm rehearsing. But I'm having the time of my life, the cast are great, script is phenomenal, and we're having a good time, and I think it's going to be a really great play.